Okay, so this is Anisa's uh, finished back tattoo. It started out as this, which is a tragedy, and then she finished it, and it's still fucking awful. It's like the worst shit ever. Um, the tribal tattoos on the top and bottom look like something out of World of Warcraft. They kind of look like the horde symbol. The butterflies make no sense. The butterflies are literally on fire. And then there's one, there's one, someone made a comment on, on, uh, X and replied to this saying, haven't you ever heard of a butter snake? And that made me laugh out loud. So we have a butter snake here. Um, the butter snake is like folded into like the logo for, um, Tencent. I will show you what I mean. And you'll, it will make sense. So she, she, uh, has announced that she is. Where's the actual loop symbol? Oh, so is it Tencent Cloud that's shaped like that? Ah, it's Tencent Cloud. So she has announced uh, to the world that she is actually Chinese property of Tencent Cloud. So here's the, the nice little cloud logo. Um, she has got... It's literally the exact same thing. She's, she just has the Tencent Cloud logo stapled onto her back as a form of butter snake. Um, the snake is also on fire. And there's a couple of skulls, because sn skulls are cool, I guess. So burning... Look at the butter... The butterflies even have, like, goofy eyeballs. Like, they look like ca cartoon characters. And then, for whatever reason, the stars are very specifically the, um... The stars that they use, like, a nautical star? I will try to explain this. World map with star. It's like a polar star. So I don't know how you would describe that. And now Google is like really, really slow. Let's try Bing. See if it's any faster. It is faster for some reason. No, I can't find the star that I that I'm specifically looking for. But it's like a very specific kind of star that shows up on on atlases and stuff like back in the day. So that's her design. Now, if I go here, here's the real kicker, right? If I go to Bing again and I go to Bing create for the AI thing and I type in, let's see. Go to my creations and then I type in, I'm going to do this off screen real quick. A woman's back with full Black outline tattoo of butterflies, stars, flames, snakes, skulls, and tribal art. Was there anything else? No, that's about it. Okay, let's let's pop that fucker in. I'm gonna generate myself uh, an Anisa real quick, and we'll we'll do a little comparison. I'm gonna see which one looks better. All right. Still generating chat, still generating. Very complex prompt. Has to think about it for a second. <laughs> wow, these are really close. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's so it's so close to what she actually got on her. Oh my god. Okay, this one's also really funny. Okay, this is the real one. You ready? That's Anisa. That's what she actually looks like. And that's what Bing created by typing in a bunch of random fucking words. Is this not like really close? It's like... <laughs> It's like down to the style and everything. Here's the other one. Look, we even have a butter skull. It even knew. Oh, look, there's a butter. It even made the butter snake. Okay, we got a butter snake. This one's even cooler because it has a butter skull chat. A butter skull. So, I mean, I'm just saying that I'm not saying that Anisa doesn't actually exist and is a, a Bing AI creation. <laughs> Here, there's a third one, too. <laughs> I'm not saying that Anisa doesn't exist. I can't prove that she doesn't exist, but I am saying that Bing can do a better job of creating uh, shitty back tattoos. 
she's a fucking AI. <laughs> she's an AI. Elon Musk programmed a BPD bot and inject and, and set it out into the world. And it just so happened that Idubs married it. And now the BPD bot is like randomly generating designs to put it on its own back and stuff. When the guy, when the tattoo artist is working on her, she's like, God, your back really feels like silicone covering metal bones. Do you, did you know that? Has anyone else told you that you feel like a silicon uh, uh, wrapping around a, a metal skeleton? And she goes, no, no one has ever told me that before. <laughs> Uh, there you go. It's an easy. Oh, she paid eighteen thousand dollars for it. By the way, full back the last chrysalis. Default title sold out. When I looked at this tattoo, it screams Austin Maple. Since I was in my first years of tattooing, I wanted what was called an unsigned signature. I wanted people to look at my tattoos and know that I did them without having to ask. I think this design accomplishes this without a doubt. This back was a long process to figure out. I started with the snake design, designed, and played around with a lot of different options for alternative heads for the body to wear. I thought I should have snake's body with an abnormal head would be a nice change that would offer a comfortable, traditional look, but bring something new and unique to the design. This tattoo was designed to stand the test of time with its imagery and layout. I look forward to bringing this to fruition for one lucky person. The final cost of this back piece is $18,000 and will be done in five, six hour sessions. The total project cost will be divided into payments due at the end of each session. There it is. That's it. Oh my God. I thought that he like fixed up her back, but no, she actually paid for it off the, off the wall. And the guy that made this literally just like, he actually he actually came up with this and was like really proud of this. I have got to know this guy. What do you look like? Is this him? Artist Austin Maples, is this him? Oh yeah. Something went wrong. I guess I'm too much of a robot for Austin Maples. I just want to see what this fucking guy looks like. Does he have a Twitter account? Maybe I can pull him up. Or hold up. I want to. I, I have to. Like that's a picture of him. I'll see. Obviously, but I want like. Oh, there's videos of him. He has a channel. I'm Austin Maples. Welcome to Nothing to Live. Oh fuck yeah. All right. Apparently, this is the guy that she's really sexually into, and that's what the entire I've heard that the only reason that she even got this tattoo is that she's sexually attracted to the artist and uh, is paying just for the time to be Watch with him. Watch me interview my client. Fucking tattoo from Austin, you know, get some new pain. She yeah. like in movies. I, I pour one off. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it looks way cooler than like I didn't even draw it. I thought it was gonna. Well, These guys so are all. Outside. <laughs> God, thank you. I want to see Austin Maples and a shitty ass art. I'm Austin Maple. Here this. Oh, he sells a book. Oh fuck yeah. This is him. This is this is Anisa Joma's dream man. He's drinking he's drinking a Budweiser Zero. He's drinking a zero calorie Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> this, this man getting crunked up on Budweiser Zero smoking a cigar like, yeah, bitch, I'll fuck your back up for sure. <laughs> you want to pay me? You want to pay me $18,000 to doodle all over you, motherfucker? I, you bet. Let me, let me go get, crack a Bud <laughs> real quick. <laughs> this is Idub's final form when his hair finally falls off. Awesome. Great work, dude. We're all proud of you. I like this one a lot. I think that this is your mat your magnum opium, so to speak, my, my bro. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.